presents the top 10 ghost stories in the United States. Make sure you like and subscribe for more top 10 list. There are many ghost stories in the United States, but some of the most well-known include. Number 10. The Winchester Mystery House. This mansion in San Jose, California, is said to be haunted by the spirit of its builder, Sarah Winchester. The Winchester Mystery House is a mansion in San Jose, California, that was once the personal residence of Sarah Winchester, the widow of gun magnate William Wirt Winchester. The mansion is known for its architectural curiosities, such as staircases that lead to nowhere and doors that open onto walls. It is also said to be haunted by the ghosts of those killed by Winchester rifles. The mansion is now a tourist attraction and is open to the public for tours. Number 9. The Stanley Hotel. This hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, is said to be haunted by the ghost of its former owner, F.O. Stanley. The Stanley Hotel is known for its association with Stephen King's 1977 horror novel The Shining, which is said to have been inspired by the author's stay at the hotel in the 1970s. The novel and its subsequent adaptations tell the story of a man who becomes the caretaker of a remote hotel and experiences terrifying supernatural events. There are also several ghost stories associated with the hotel. Some guests and employees have reported strange noises and eerie sightings of ghostly figures, including a ghost named Lou who is said to roam the halls of the hotel. The ghost of a former bellhop and a maid have been seen on the fourth floor of the hotel, and a ghost of a little girl is said to play in the ballroom. The hotel also offers a ghost adventure package, which includes a guided ghost tour of the hotel and access to a paranormal investigation of the hotel's most active areas. Number 8. The Amityville Horror House. This house in Amityville, New York, is said to be haunted by the spirits of a family who were murdered there. The Amityville Horror is a book and a series of films that tell the story of the Lutz family, who moved into a house in Amityville, New York, in 1975. According to the story, the family soon began to experience a series of terrifying supernatural events, including strange noises, cold spots, and ghostly apparitions. The story is based on the real-life experiences of the Lutz family, who claim that they were terrorized by ghosts and other supernatural phenomena in the house. They claim that the house was haunted by the spirits of the DeFeo family, who were brutally murdered there in 1974. According to the Lutzes, they were plagued by strange occurrences, such as doors opening and closing by themselves, windows being smashed, and ghostly voices and footsteps. The Amityville horror story has been the subject of much investigation and skepticism. It is up to you to decide whether the story is true or not. Number 7. The Myrtles Plantation. This plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana, is said to be haunted by the spirits of former slaves and the family that owned the plantation. The plantation was built in 1796 and has a rich history, including stories of murder, slavery, and betrayal. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with the plantation is that of Chloe, a slave who is said to have been killed by her owners after she was caught eavesdropping on their conversations. Her ghost is said to appear in the plantation's mirror, which is said to be her ghostly portal. Another ghost story that is associated with the plantation is that of Sarah Woodruff, who was poisoned by her husband and died at the plantation. Her ghost is said to still haunt the plantation, and it is said that her ghostly apparitions have been seen in the bedrooms and the parlor. There are also stories of ghostly children seen and heard playing in the plantation's gardens and ghostly apparitions seen in windows of the plantation. Visitors have also reported strange noises, cold spots, and objects moving on their own. Number 6. The Queen Mary. This retired ocean liner, now docked in Long Beach, California, is said to be haunted by the spirits of former passengers and crew members. Among the ghosts reportedly still hanging around is an engineer who died in the ship's engine room, a lady in white, and various children located throughout the ship, including the first-class pool. The tour stops at the entrance doors to the swimming pool, but does not go inside the pool area due to ongoing restoration projects. Haunted Encounters is offered only during the day, but when the sun goes down, the spirits aboard the Queen Mary come out to play. Explore the legendary ship with a series of twilight tours and seances that explore the haunted past. Number 5. The Eastern State Penitentiary. This former prison in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is said to be haunted by the spirits of former inmates and guards. Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is known for its haunted history and ghost stories. Here are a few of the most well-known. The ghost of Al Capone is said to haunt cell block 4, where he was imprisoned in the 1920s. Visitors have reported seeing his ghostly figure and hearing strange noises coming from his cell. The ghost of a prison guard named William Shadow Williams is said to roam the halls of the penitentiary. He was murdered by an inmate in the 1930s, and his ghost is said to be seen walking the halls, checking on the cells.
Number 4. The Lizzie Borden House. The Lizzie Borden House, located in Fall River, Massachusetts, is known for being the site of the infamous 1,892 axe murders of Andrew and Abby Borden, Lizzie Borden's father and stepmother. The case was never solved and Lizzie was acquitted of the murders in a highly publicized trial. Many people believe that Lizzie Borden was guilty of the murders, and her ghost is said to haunt the house. Visitors to the house have reported feeling a strange presence, hearing strange noises, and even seeing ghostly apparitions. One story tells of a tour guide who was alone in the house one night, when she heard footsteps coming from the upstairs bedroom, where the murders took place. She assumed it was one of the other employees, but when she went to investigate, she found the house empty. Another story is about a psychic investigator, who was doing a seance in the house, when she felt a cold hand on her shoulder, and heard a voice whispering Lizzie did it. There are also several stories of ghostly sightings of a woman believed to be Lizzie Borden. Some have reported seeing her in the window of the upstairs bedroom where the murders took place, while others have seen her wandering the halls of the house. The Lizzie Borden house is now a bed and breakfast and visitors can't take tours of the house, but many say they can still sense the presence of the ghost of Lizzie Borden. Number 3. The USS Hornet is a decommissioned aircraft carrier that served in World War II and the Vietnam War. It is now a museum ship docked in Alameda, California, and is said to be haunted by the spirits of the sailors who served on it. One story tells of a security guard who was on duty one night when he heard strange noises coming from the ship's engine room. When he went to investigate, he saw the ghost of a sailor dressed in a 1940s uniform, who then vanished into thin air. Another story is about a group of visitors who were touring the ship when they felt a sudden drop in temperature and heard strange whispering voices. They also reported seeing ghostly apparitions of sailors, both young and old, in various parts of the ship. There are also several reports of ghostly activity in the ship's sick bay, where many sailors were treated for injuries and illnesses during the wars. Visitors have reported feeling a sense of unease and hearing strange noises coming from the area. There is also a story of a ghost of a sailor who died in a plane crash on the flight deck and still haunts the ship. Many people who have gone to the flight deck have reported feeling cold spots and hearing strange noises. Number 2. The Lemp Mansion, located in St. Louis, Missouri, is said to be haunted by the spirits of members of the Lemp family, who lived in the house in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Lemp family owned the Western Brewery, and the house was originally built as a showplace for the brewery's success. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with the Lemp Mansion is that of Monkey Face, the ghost of William Lemp Jr the son of the brewery's founder. William Jr. inherited the brewery from his father, but was never able to match his father's success. He suffered from depression and committed suicide in the house in 1904. Visitors to the house have reported seeing the ghost of a man with a monkey-like face, believed to be William Jr., in various parts of the house. Another ghost story is that of the ghost of Charles Lemp, the last Lemp to live in the house, who also committed suicide in the house in 1949. Visitors have reported seeing his ghost in the house, and some have reported seeing him sitting in his rocking chair, staring out the window. There are also several stories of ghostly activity in the house's basement, where the brewery's original cave spring, which provided water for the beer, is located. Visitors have reported feeling a sense of unease and hearing strange noises coming from the area. In addition, there are also reports of ghostly apparitions of a woman, believed to be Julia Lemp, the wife of William Sr., who died of heart failure in 1904. Some have reported seeing her ghostly figure in the windows of the mansion. Number 1. The White House. This famous residence of the President of the United States in Washington, D.C. is said to be haunted by the spirits of former presidents and first ladies. One of the most well-known ghost stories associated with the White House is that of Abraham Lincoln's ghost. Many people claim to have seen the ghost of the former president in the Oval Office and other parts of the White House. Another ghost said to haunt the White House is that of Abraham Lincoln's son, Willie, who died in the White House during his father's presidency. Some say that Willie's ghost can't be heard playing in the halls of the White House. The ghost of First Lady Abigail Adams is said to haunt the East Room of the White House. According to legend, she was seen hanging laundry in the room, which was her usual task during her time in the White House. The ghost of President Andrew Jackson is said to have appeared in the White House Oval Office. President Jackson, who passed away in 1845, is said to have been seen standing at the fireplace in the Oval Office. Lastly, there is a story of ghostly footsteps heard on the third floor of the White House, where the Lincoln bedroom is located, reported by President Truman and his wife. We hope you enjoyed this spooky top 10 list. Hopefully you get a chance to visit some of these spooky places. And be sure to like and subscribe to the T10 YouTube page for more top 10 lists.